Sagittarius. Let's get into this read for you. There can be a message here for you. There may be several messages here for you. But let's get into your current energy. The Herald of Change, the Horseman, shows up. In your current energy, there can be good news coming in for you. There can be the need for caution. Because there is change that is happening. And the horseman cautions you not to become too hollow or trivial in your what you're doing. So there's good news that is coming in for you. And that good news is C. Ooh, there's four there. Let's take them. The good news. We have the moon, the hanged woman, the empress, and the seven of cups. So whatever has been sort of leaving you in the dark, things that you have been worried about, uh, maybe there's been a lot of um, distractions, a lot of choices to be made. We see with the Empress that things are changing. Things are changing into a better way for you. So the Empress is actually giving this other individual a cup. Now, this can be that this Empress is choosing to come forward with an offer. <clears throat> this can be something that is valuable. The Empress doesn't give shitty things. Um, so changes are coming in, and you're giving a chance. You're being, you're being given opportunities to move in a different direction. Now, okay, that was really weird. I had a figure just move out of the corner of my eye as I'm reading for you. Uh, that's the first time that that has happened. So your desire, one is the unmarked trail or revelation, and the other is the empty well, which is time to replenish. When I see this empty well, the time to replenish, you may be feeling a little dragged out with the uncertainty and different things that are in your current energy. Uh, they can be a little overwhelming, possibly. And with the unmarked trail, uh, this also talks about discovery. And this is interesting because it says, you already know there's no reward at the end of the road you are following. Pause, breathe, commit your heart to sacred, a sacred endeavor. The unmarked trail can be a sign that you've already made a choice. Uh, even if you don't really want to acknowledge it, sometimes that happens. But it seems that for some of you, you may be feeling a little burnt out. But for others of you, the exploration, the journey itself, um, can be something different. With the empty well here, it could be that, yeah, you know what? Whatever you're chasing really doesn't have a lot for you. Therefore, the empty well. Um, the chariot. Princess of Coins, Judgment, and Strength. Things, you've chosen a direction, or you're looking to choose a direction. One that is very practical, one that maybe you have made before, but one that has significant consequences, uh, and also one that will require you to knuckle up. Knuckle up in the bravery department in that this may really need you to be able to handle what is coming 
Ooh. Those wanted to come out. Let's take them. So this is kind of interesting. We have repairing the veil and for, or forgiveness. We also have curiosity in the outcome. Now, there can be things that you need to forgive yourself for or others for, where you repair the damage that was done. This can also be, with stranger curiosity here, that there is moving past the differences and into acceptance. We have the High Priestess, the Ace of Swords, the Magician, and the King of Cups. There can be secrets that are being held back from you. This could be that you are holding secrets. With the Ace of Swords here, it's kind of time to cut through the bullshit. Followed by the Magician and the King of Cups, there can be somebody that may not seem who they are. They may be blowing smoke. So let's see what is working for you. The Knight of Coins. So following a path, the path of change. Path of change to reciprocity and the path of change to the Ten of Coins. To where you know where your efforts are most valuable. We have the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Coins, the Star, and the Five of Coins. With the Ten of Wands, things can be burdensome. Where it's taken a lot of effort to maintain your groundedness, despite a situation where you had a lot of hope that left you feeling like insecure or left out. <clears throat> The Emperor, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Now, it's interesting because the Five of Swords tried to fall out several times while I was pre-shuffling. And then, of course, you saw me shuffling. Uh, and I've been shuffling ever since. There can be somebody that is holding back because of their ego within a specific situation. With the Five of Swords here, I'm actually drawn... I actually see this as a division. This individual has three swords and she has two. So it's like somebody has a choice to make in all of this. Somebody has a choice in what they need to do. How far are you going to pursue this? Or how far are you going to win at all costs? Now I'm going to pull one last card for you. And this is from The Universe Has Your Back. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith within the universe. So, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you today. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down. We will see you next time. Stay safe and thank you all for being here.